Namaste. Namaste, babe. Namaste. <laughs> So uh, today we are going to move towards one of my, possibly our, not sure how much you like it, I think you like it a lot, like I do, one of our favorite meditations. This is uh, a meditation on the mantra so hum. Um, Pandaji told uh, a great story about this mantra and he spoke about uh, an ancient sage who was, you know, a very um, accomplished sage, very advanced and was fully absorbed in samadhi at a certain point and uh, as he started to move out of this state of complete absorption out of this samadhi state there was a moment where he sort of paused uh, suspended on the precipice on the borderline of of having awareness of himself as an individual and also simultaneously at the very same moment having an awareness of himself as a part of the collective and as he was suspended in this space of feeling as though he was both the drop and the ocean he heard unfolding resounding from the ethers from the atmosphere the the mantra so hum he heard it so hum so hum and what he realized is that each time he heard the, the sound so, it would cause him to breathe in. And each time he heard the mantra hum, it would cause him to breathe out. And even more than that, with each in-breath so, he felt the collective consciousness flow into his individual being. And with each breath out, hum, he felt his individual being merge into the absolute. And it was this moment of recognition. I am that. And all of that is also me. I am the drop and I am the ocean. So hum, so hum. So that's where we'll take things today towards a very specific and beautiful, simple meditation on so hum. And we'll do a few um, forward folds and a, a, a gentle short moon based practice uh, just to calm the mind down and prepare the spine for a, a nice long um, sit at the end. So let's get started. We'll start standing. So come to standing and we'll do a, a simple form of Uttanasana. We can do this together. So a little bend in the knees and take your hands to the backs of your legs, right up near the, the, uh, the intersection between hamstrings and glutes. And as, the, as we forward fold, we'll just uh, slide the hands down the backs of the legs towards the ankles. So inhale here, extend through your spine, chest open, and exhale, fold forwards, bend your knees as much as you need to. Bow all the way in. And inhale, slide your hands up the backs of the legs. Nice flat back, good. Lengthen out the exhale, fold forwards again. No need to count, just intuitively make the out breath longer than the in breath. And inhale, come up again. Pause here for a moment, take a couple of breaths. And we'll do exactly the same thing with our nice long exhalations into the fold. We will vocally chant the mantra so hum with a nice extended hum, that, that vibration of mm at the very end. So here we go. Inhale, lengthen spine. Together let's fold and chant. So hum. Inhale to rise up. Two more. So hum. Last one. So hum. Good. Now stay in the forward fold. That's early in the piece, so be okay to bend your knees generously and 
It doesn't need to be the deepest forward fold ever. But now as you touch in on your breath, just start to remember with each breath in the mantra so and each breath out, hum. So on the in-breath, hum on the out-breath. helping the mind to internalize and stay focused and present. Okay, nice and slow with the next inhalation. Rise all the way back up, hands sliding up, backs of legs. You get to the top, exhale, release your hands to the sides, pause. Okay, so the next one, uh, Emma and I will mirror you guys. So I'll do my best to cue that in the right way. Come to a sort of a, a wide-ish stance, just maybe a little bit wider than your mat. You don't have to be super wide. And what we'll do here, start with hands on hips. So we'll mirror you. Um, and we'll move through a few rounds of dynamic lateral into a, a wider forward fold. So next inhalation, sweep your right arm up. Left hand to the left hip. And exhale, just crescent off to the left a little bit. Good. Inhale, come back up to standing. Now both of the hands back to the backs of the legs. Exhale, fold forwards. Again, the knees can be bent. Inhale, rise back up. Slide your hands up the backs of the legs. Right hand, right hip, left arm up into the air. And exhale, crescent lean or lateral lean off to the left side, sorry, right side. Inhale, come back up. Let's add in the vocal mantra, so hum into the fold. So hum. Inhale to rise up. Left hand, left hip. Right arm up into the sky. Lean to the left with so hum. So hum. Inhale to come up. Forward fold, so hum. So hum. Inhale, rise up. Left arm into the air. So hum to the right. So hum. Inhale, center. Good. Forward fold. So Inhale up again, right arm up into the air. So hum, lean to the left. So hum. Stay here in the lateral lean. Come into a nice full breath. And now drop into that mental repetition of the mantra where you're experiencing so moving with the breath in and hum moving with the breath out. And if you like with each inhalation you can extend your left finger your right fingertips a little bit further and each breath out draw the navel back. Perhaps even a soft engagement of the root lock. Release the vocal mantra, the silent mantra. With your next inhalation, come up, hands to the backs of the legs, vocal mantra into the fold. So hum. Perfect. Inhale to rise back up, left arm into the sky. Vocal mantra. 
present lane. So um, good, perfect. Now stay here. Take a few moments to fully establish yourself in the asana. Get that nice extension along the side body. Whatever's comfortable for your neck, you can look down or out or even up if that's possible. Now, so hum with each inflowing, outflowing breath. Just fully entraining the mind and the body into this specific vibration of so hum. In the pose, a few more breaths, just release the silent mantra, just back to breath. Now inhale, rise back up to center, hands to the backs of the legs. One more time with the vocal mantra, into the fold. So hum. Great, let's hold the forward fold, so make yourself comfortable there. Again, bent knees is fine, or you can straighten them if you like. Mm -hmm. Silence, so hum. Nice job with your next inhalation. Slowly rise all the way back up to standing. Give yourself a moment here to adjust. Fluctuations of the mind starting to level out and still. To prepare the spine a little bit for meditation, let's do some dynamic chair pose. I'll get you to come to the front of the mat. Hip distance feet. <clears throat> so in this version, we won't come all the way up to standing. We'll just move from chair into a folded chair position. So Emma, you want to come into chair pose? Good. And from this point forward, what I'll ask you to do is when we're not chanting the mantra so hum vocally, every single breath to be doing it mentally. So here we go. Mental so on the in-breath. Extend your spine and mental hum as you exhale and fold forwards into a folded chair pose, keeping knees bent and hips nice and low. Good, so fold in, hum. Inhale back into chair, so. And exhale, hum, fold forwards. Please do two more dynamic repetitions of the mantra, of the posture together. Good. Hold here. Hum to sit a little bit lower. Now just holding chair nice and steady. And the invitation is that, you know, as things start to heat up and become a little bit uh, more challenging, can we hold to that space of so hum and remain calm and internalized?
Great. Next inhalation, press to straight legs. And release the arms down. Pause. Nice. With your next inhalation, sweep your arms up above your head, Urdhava Hastasana. Excellent. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forwards. And from here, let's just step back to down dog. <clears throat> so a little bit of uh, gentle bandha work. Inhale, come down to all fours. And with Mula Bandha, exhale hips to heels, child's pose. And inhale, come up to all fours. And exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Good. And we'll do one more experience of the vocal mantra on the exhalations. Just coming in and out of this pose. So inhale, come into all fours. And vocally together as we sit back. So hum. With that gentle application of Mula Bandha. Inhale, come up to all fours. Let's do two more. So hum. Good. Inhale, come up. Last one. So pause here. Now staying with the mental remembrance of the mantra, I'll get you just to slide forwards onto your belly and set up in uh, uh, exactly a baby cobra type situation with the hands positioned under the fronts of the shoulders, forehead to the floor. And just you know, nice and smooth with your next inhalation, peel the chest open and come into baby cobra, keeping the back of neck long. So, and exhale, hum as you bow into the floor. We'll do that five times. Inhale to lift up. Perhaps get a little bit higher. And exhale, hum to bow in. Good. Inhale, so. And exhale, hum. Perfect. Do two more. At the end of the fifth round, hold the back bend and continue with the breath and silent mantra. Exhale, lower down. Pause a moment and adjust. Good. And then just roll yourself onto your back, please. Good. To counter, draw your knees in towards your chest. Stretch both of your legs up. And for this one, I think you can stretch your arms out in a kind of uh, cactus shape. Yeah, exactly. Or straight arms is fine. Now, keeping the legs together and straight, let them drop off to the left side about halfway to the floor and then pause. Exactly. So pause there. 
flex your feet, firm your legs. It's like you're kicking through the, the right heel. As you do that, spin your abdomen to the right and you can even gaze to the right a little bit. Yep. And so hum with every breath. Inhale, come up through center. Now grounding through the left shoulder and arm, take your double legs together off to the right side. Pause halfway to the floor. Flex your feet, kick through the heels. And kick through the left heel a little bit more. Good, gaze to the left, so hum, so hum. Inhale, come back to center. Pause here for a moment. Keep your right leg as it is extended up towards the sky. And now just drop your left leg towards the ground and pause when the left heel gets about uh, you know, four to six inches away from the floor. You're just hovering the left heel. The legs are split in a kind of L shape. You're remembering so hum. And keep your right leg lifted, lift the left leg back up. Bring the right leg down. Good. Hover the heel, flex both feet. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Now slide your hands down under your glutes with your palms facing down. Lower both of your legs towards the floor halfway and pause. Good. Now both heels about four inches from the ground, lower them down, hover them both. Inhale, lift both of the legs back up. Then to about a five count, exhale both heels slowly, exhale them both down to the floor, evenly, equally, all the way down. Perfect and rest. All right, draw both of your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. And the last thing we'll do is just a seated forward fold. So let's come up to um, a seated position. Roll off to the side. Good. And stretch your legs out in front of you. Yep. <clears throat> so this will be Pachimottanasana. We'll start dynamically and the only thing that we'll add in is a pause after the exhalation. So there's this moment of just being suspended in the, the silent echo of the hum. So let's give that a go. Um, if you like, you can sit up on a prop and give yourself a little bit more uh, tilting capacity or even bend your knees slightly to take some of the stretch out of the hamstrings. 
Either way, flex your feet, firm your legs. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, fold. The end of your exhalation, just pause with the breath out for a moment. Inhale, rise back up. So. Exhale, hum. Nice long fold. The end of the exhalation, just pause for a moment. Inhale to rise up. Three more rounds. Exhale, fold. Brief pause at the end. Final two dynamic rounds. And last one. The end of this round, catch on to the feet, or if you're using a belt, grab the belt. Inhale, half lift. Lengthen through your spine. Now exhale, fold deeply. Pachi Motanasana. But we'll continue on with the same internal practice with both the mantra, so on in breath, hum on out breath but then pausing at the end of each exhalation and really letting awareness drop into that, that space, that gap beyond the breath. Extend your arms forwards. With your next inhalation, rise all the way back up. Exhale the arms down to sides or thighs. Dandasana, pause. Good. Now we'll just take a brief Shavasana. So come down onto your back. Stretch yourself out. Make any final adjustments to your position. And just take a few moments now to become the silent observer of sound. Without any attachment to what you hear. Just the quiet witness of sound. Now begin to sense that you are the space through which the breath moves. Just 
Just an awareness of space and breath. Start to come back to an awareness of your breath again. Deepen your breath a little bit. Start to move your body, fingers and toes. Stretch out. When you're ready, roll to the right side. And give yourself a few moments there. And when you're ready, bring yourself up to seated and find your meditation prop to sit on. to the so hum meditation practice. We'll start with a little bit of alternate nostril breathing. So take Nisarga hand mudra, folding the peace fingers down and bringing thumb and ring finger to the bony bridge of the nose. And slide the fingers down until you hit the cartilage intersection. And lightly just hover the two fingers on those two points. Take a full breath in through both nostrils and out through both nostrils. 
end of the out breath, gently close the right nostril, inhale through the left. Close the left and exhale out the right. In the right. And out the left. Nice, smooth, even breaths. We're adding in the silent mantra, inhale left, so... Exhale through the right is hum. Inhale right, so. Exhale left, hum. Continue on at your own pace, linking each breath with the Soham Mantra. In breath and out breath, even count, maybe a intuitive six or eight count in each direction. As you become more absorbed into this practice, recognize that it really isn't the breath that creates the mantra, but quite the opposite. And the in-breath unfolds out of the field of so, and the out-breath returns into the field of hum. The mantra is already there, it's already present, and the breath unfolds out of it and returns into it. Take one more full cycle, making your last exhalation an exhalation through the left nostril. The end of that last cycle, and just release your hand down and balance the breath through both nostrils.
Let your breath become a little bit more quiet. Now shift your awareness of the breath from the nostrils to the very back of the throat. Feel the breath moving along the back of the throat. Still with the silent mantra. Noticing a coolness in the back of the throat each time you breathe in. A feeling of warmth as you breathe out. So hum as temperature at the back of the throat. As you breathe, just hold a, an intuitive awareness, each breath in, universal consciousness flowing into your individual being, and each breath out, your individual being, merging with the Absolute. Over the next minute or so, allow your breath to become lighter and lighter. As you move towards an almost breathless state. Let go of your awareness of the breath altogether. Gently move your attention to the point between your eyebrows. Feel so hum unfolding from the midbrain. as a silent, subtle pulse
as a feeling of absolute contentment. A contentment born of this knowledge. I am that. And that is me. So hum. So hum.
very slowly start to come back to an awareness of your breath. Of course, if you'd like to continue on with your meditation practice, please do so. Otherwise, just take a moment, join your palms together, and close and honor your practice in your own way. Namaste.